Good afternoon. I'm standing here on Fox Hill. I'm about to show you around a little property called The Willows, which is a detached bungalow just hidden away around there. Just so you know where we are, if you come in to view the property, it's worth parking in Weald Rise, which is the next cul-de-sac down. So if you come out Weald Rise, first entrance, as you can see, it's an entrance for our house called Scraces, and then The Willows is just here. So come and have a look. Um, we'll do the outside first, then we go inside. Uh, but as you can see, you've got a driveway here for a couple of, what, two or three cars, maybe four cars. Um, there's a garage, if he says. It does open with an electric door. So many people now, they want a garage either for storage or what I'm seeing, actually, a lot of people are converting these into a really fabulous sort of garden studio room. So you've got lots of potential in here. And as you can see, tons of storage up, to, up above. And then, let's turn that light off, close the garage. Let's take you around the garden quick. Now, I actually sold this property when it was brand new. And if I'm guessing, I think it was in the late 1990s. I, uh, the people who actually built it, I, I um, sold several properties for them since. But they built this. Now, they built it to be a three bed. And I'll explain when we get inside. Instead, they just made it a massive two bed with a, a double sized living room. So they've got a lounge and a dining room rather than the third bedroom. But you've got a courtyard garden on this side. This is all on the south side of the building. So this is the sunny, little sunny courtyard area. Those doors there are from the lounge. We'll walk around this way. So come around the back. Now, obviously this side of town, we're on the southern edge of Haywards Heath. You've got a bus service running up and down Fox Hill. Obviously a bit more garden around here. Got the kids playing next door. It's half term this week, so they're all off. And you've got quite a nice sized garden around here. You get an idea, it's got a very high pitched roof. So bear that in mind. If you wanted to extend up into the roof, you've got a bit of potential to do that. And obviously you can expand the driveway if you wanted as well. So come inside. I'm gonna take my shoes off. The property is all very much as it was when it was built brand new. So it is, it is a bit dated and requires modernization, but it's absolutely been really well cared for and it is spotless. So let's take you around. So great big entrance hall. Huge entrance hall, loads of cupboards. There's a great big loft, loft space above. Several cupboards, so a big double height clothes cupboard there. Another one, which has got the boiler in it. That's been replaced obviously in more recent years. And I mentioned the loft hatch, great big loft hatch above. And then across the hall, you've got the kitchen. This was really obviously a decent quality home. It was built by the people who built it, built it for themselves. They really did go to town when it was done originally. I've actually left a message for the owner just to remind me of the date it was built. And when we sold it to these people, I'm sure you can find it online. And this is where it gets interesting. So there should have been a door behind that grandfather clock into the third bedroom, but instead they made a much bigger lounge dining room. So just a feature fireplace there. Obviously the doors out to the south facing courtyard garden that side. But when you come in here, you suddenly realise what a great big living space. Problem with bungalows, I mean, especially two bedroom bungalows, they're quite small. This is actually just that bit bigger. And you can see how it was a third bedroom, which if you need three bedrooms, wouldn't take a lot to convert this back and put a partition wall in and a doorway. But a nice big room there. So decent size bedroom. Back across the hall, you had the bathroom. We've got an ensuite as well with this. Again, really been well cared for and ready to move into. You can certainly move into it and then start changing your decorations and things as you go. Uh, the second bedroom, it was a very chunky bedroom as well. So a nice big double, they're big rooms. I'd like to know the square footage on this. And that's overlooking the gardens on that side. And then the main bedroom, which has an ensuite, is through here, which again, another really fab big bedroom. And you can see where they've got the bedside tables. It takes a great big double bed. They've got lots of freestanding furniture in here. This is overlooking the front. And of course, an ensuite. With a shower there. And obviously separate loo as well. Just make a note, obviously you've got that shower cubicle there. We seem to be living in a world now where showers, they, everyone wants massive walk-in showers. That wouldn't take a lot at all to do that because you'd pinch some of one of these cupboards or make alterations to suit. But there you go. That is the Willows on Fox Hill. It's on the southern edge of Haywards Heath. 
It's being sold by the executors. Um, I believe the probate is now granted, so it is ready to be sold. So there's no uh, hold ups. If you want to move quickly, then you can certainly do that. Um, you can walk to the hospital from here. Um, there's going to be a new primary school built on this side of town soon, which is going to really make the Fox Hill area, in my opinion. And you've got a bus service running up and down Fox Hill. If you've got children and you're looking at schools, uh, we're officially in the Warden Park Academy Secondary School uh, catchment and they get on the school bus here. However, saying that, a lot of children now on this side of town are getting into Chaley Secondary School out at South Chaley. Look it up. It's a tiny school. I think there's only about 700 kids in it and they can get a bus from this side of town as well. But there you go. That's the Willows. I hope you found that helpful. Any questions, do give us a call. Thanks for watching.